Hello everybody, System Chalk here with, I believe, the 49th episode of the Apostle Obstinate playthrough starring Ike Upscribe. And we are in trouble. Uh, so we have preparations for an assault. Our enemies' connections are so ubiquitous that they now feel confident of success in open assault. We can expect an onslaught very soon. On top of that, we have two dread and an oncoming season of despair. We're in the middle of a, um, an expedition and we are trying to take the place of the younger Glover, although doing so, once we get a seat on the board at Glover and Glover, our reputation becomes that much more important, and as a result, uh, I am going to need to try and find a sink for my notoriety. So, lots of things are going to be triggering. Um, there's gonna be a lot of things that will, or, uh, there's a lot of things on the board that can potentially trigger some negative events, and we don't have a very clear game plan for dealing with them. So I don't want to spend as much time as last episode uh, covering the, you know, the changes. You already know what the board looks like. But here's a few, uh, here's a few things that we're going to keep in mind for this playthrough. Um, the Dread. We said this at the end of the last episode. Currently, we have a season of visions. Now, this is normally a really terrible state of affairs to be in because, oh, you know what? This fleeting reminiscence might th gum up the works. Is there something I can do to... No. No, there is not. So it's possible that instead of picking up the Dread, the Season of Visions is going to pick up the Fleeting Reminiscence. Now, I believe the game is built that if you are holding a card, it doesn't count as being on the, the table. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cheese it out. I'm gonna take my lumps and we're gonna see if we can we can dance uh, dance around our, our issues. Uh, I am kind of hoping that the dread picks this up though. So um, basically I need to worry about the dread. This is one away from ending the game for me and um, I have an idea about how I can get some contentment, but that is gonna have its own dangers. So let's see how well it works. In the meantime, uh, we can also go through our books. So we have Against the Sisterhood of the Knot and The Foulness of Their Depraved Customs. Hieronymus Pseudo Hyper... Uh, hyper... No, hyper... <laughs> Hypner... Hypnero Timacus wrote this furious screed about the sinister influence of the sisterhood uh, on his own church of the unconquered son. So let's just translate that so I don't ever have to read that name again. Look closer, closer still, closer, keep looking, closer, now close your eyes. And the good news though is we've got our, all our health back, so that's a start. Okay, so I could go into the Mansus, but my biggest concern right now is about uh, getting my dread and getting my uh, fascination under, under control. So I think in this case, hmm, actually I'm not going to go into the realm of dream quite yet. Because the challenge is if I wind up with a dread out of that, um, I'm in even worse shape than I was before. Okay, so the Dread got picked up by the Season of Visions. That's good news overall. And we have a Season of Suspicion coming up, so I do want to be mindful about what's happening with the um, with the Watchers. But I'm in a little bit of a better spot than I was before. So actually now I'm going to do Passion on the odd chance that I have a dream that gives me uh, contentment. A direct assault! And a fainting and proxy struggle, this chilly enemy has come to end us personally. The long will devour my health until I am dead, although our loyal followers might protect us for a little while, and only mortal followers. Our enemy is wise in the invisible arts, and spirits cannot assail them. All right, so. Dangerous follower. I wonder if I can... Ooh, I shall confront this cre creature directly. They have the strength of centuries, but I am not to be underestimated. Yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> we spent the last little while preparing for this fight. We are gonna go head on. <laughs> Their bewilderment is our opportunity. We'll pass in silent secrecy. No one understands us or else they understand us too well. All right, that's unlucky. Um, and I think, honestly, at this point, we just need to throw Leo into the into the job again. A 
I grappled with my enemy in the darkness, and even as they over, uh, overmastered me, I sacrificed my strength to draw their blood. They are wounded, but I am broken. I prepared the text for study. I was reading against the Sisterhood of the Nog. <laughs> All right. Hieronymus claims that the powers served by the Sisterhood of the Knot made an arrangement. The Thunderskin loved the Yew, and the Grail destroyed him as restitution for the destruction of Axe's loved ones. Hieronymus' writing becomes incoherent with rage at this point. When I close my eyes, figures march behind my eyelids. When I open them, the light hurts. Alright, so we are not any further along in our position. This would be a point where I would want to consider um, either bringing in some more summons or otherwise uh, doing something else with my work verbs. So let's just take a minute here and decide. Um, I'll get the Adim work done, but I don't think I'm going to try any summonings. Is the notoriety we have got a season of ambitions coming up so not too bad across the like rumpled fill uh, feels the wink of river a tingling chill mirrors are calm the sun is steady the glory recedes i'm saying if that means anything no fascination drives your visions it's over for now so the um heart effort here is not completely wasted because we are going to be generating a notoriety from the expedition but the Caligene is going to be instrumental in getting rid of the evidence. Oh, this is wonderful. Rain is coming, but the right kind of rain. Okay, so I no longer have my strength. Um, so let's think about the other things that we can do. So the, the most direct approach that I can imagine right now is to take... Um, one of my followers, we could say, a necessary sacrifice. This one will give their life to the cause. Only a follower with edge, forge, or winter of at least five stands a chance of harming the long, but others will delay the inevitable for a little while. Okay. Yeah, so it's just followers. All right, Eld Eldridge was actually um, <laughs> resentful. This was the one that JC tried to turn against me, so this is particularly... Um, this is particularly bold and perhaps rather fitting. One of the transitions that I've been making in here is the willingness of Ike to sort of start, um, you know, so we started kind of ruining the reputations of others. Now we're very clearly using followers. Um, we're throwing them in front of the uh, in front of the long. And so we're we're starting to fray a little bit at the edges in terms of um, our uh, the illusion of being a good person. Um, all right. Let's think about the next step. So, um, okay, clean slate. Um, clean slate as far as uh, the threats to me right now, except, of course, for uh, Julian, but we'll worry about that later. Uh, let us go up to the stag door again. The stag door is the adept's gate. To pass, th pass it is to be initiated into the first true mystery of the House of the Sun. The head gear bee weeps to see me enter where it cannot, but it must let me pass. The scarred valves of the door grind open. A noble end. In the depths of the night, we hear a scream that shakes the city. The long is wounded. All right. Standards of daylight society cannot apply to us, but perhaps we won't emphasize that point. Perhaps we'll rely on charm and good humor. I have supplied elegant platitudes about the high principles of our organization. All right. This is the great oak where the masked crow once roosted. Lightning has split it from head to heart, and the tree is charred and rotting. It squirms with finger-length worms. Something glints dully in the swarm of dead roots. A root coils around an egg, uh, egg of lead the size of a child. Perhaps it was plated with another metal once, but the weather has removed all trace of any coating. After a struggle, the halves of the egg come apart to reveal its contents. So, I, I have an unfortunate... Uh, I do have a bit of an unfortunate timing here. So I've got a Caligene on the table. Well, no, actually there's a way that I can preserve the Caligene still. 
So we have a dappled mask, which I believe is the first of this kind that we've got. In the forest where the moon couldn't go, the boughs of the trees were woven together like bandages or lovers. The moon might change herself to an ant or to a bird or to her sister, but the forest would not yield to her penetrations, no matter her caresses. One day we came with our scissors and we severed the branches until the moon and the blood dappled the rotting leaves on the forest floor. A whispering amulet. It knows what I desire, or I imagine that it does. So this is actually moth and grail. We'll put this... Uh, no, you know what? There has to be consistency. Lethe. A dark and syrupy liquor flavored in unnamed forest villages. The tongue and the eye, and now we begin. Forget your name, forget your skin. And in the mountains as upon the plain. Uh, in the mountains as upon the plain, there may not be a path where none has passed. A work by Nigella of Lagash. Another vac text, and so not something we can really work with right now. Okay. So um, this is going to eventually turn into another dread, which is a bit of a worry for me, uh, especially given that I do need to show up to work soon. Um, but what I'm going to do to preserve the Caligene, we're actually going to head straight into the next expedition. So the Vandershaft Collection, a cramped little museum in a provincial town long closed to the public since an outbreak of a peculiar rapture in the room where they keep the pressed flowers. Only the very curious would ever pay attention to the place and its close warded storeroom of ill-omened treasures. Let's add money and see if we can get any hints as to what might be on the inside. The door to a, the painted chamber of the Vandershaft collection is locked and warded. The building is said to be haunted by flowers. So this sounds like a job for Neville. And we'll see where the rest of it goes. Hieronymus recovers his composure eventually to describe how the Thunderskin entered the Mansus through the Peacock Door. This, Hieronymus insists, is abomination upon abomination, but then the most abominable of doors has always been an abomination. So there's our forbidden epic. And let's keep translating. So the Tantra of Worms. The etymologist Juliana uh, Zawitsowski uh, eventually came to insist that this text was written by insects inhabiting a human skin. She never presented ev evidence for her claim. So Sanskrit text begin. Optimism is the spice which saves. So we are on our way to getting yet another notoriety. So it seems to me Leo's going to do over to Whoa. Leo's going to do overtime. And I finished the manuscript. So I the need for um, Spintrea isn't quite as high as it used to be. In this case here, I'm just going to do my normal do my normal job. I'm going to try and get the promotion. Uh, this is going to take 70 seconds. Okay. Blood's on its way. Despair abates. Memories of better times keep the wolf from the door. Or from the door. And what have we got here? So an engineer or an adept has ensured this door will not open easily. Forge or knock will defeat it. And the fifth eye curse. We need heart or winter to suppress this curse. Otherwise, it will not keep us from our goal, but it may trouble us later. So this is going to be a little troubling. So we'll bring Enid in to get rid of the door. Uh, but I also need to make sure that I... Um, I also need to make sure that I have the right... Uh, the right amount of heart in future. Okay. Clouds part. The wolf despair prowls elsewhere. I'm certain that my adversary has lodged a copy of their notes elsewhere, with their solicitor, with their superior, or even with a contact in the press. This is troubling, so the Caligean should hopefully deal with those. And a courier has arrived from our delight with a single vial of their most holy blood. Now this is going to be helpful because we have 142 seconds left on ours, and we've got 239 seconds before the delightful blood goes bad. I am going to have a Season of Visions though, so I want to be careful. Well, no, uh, the Season of Visions will be gone in time, so we're fine there. All right, so we've done okay um, with the long so far. So in this case, let's take Laidlaw. They will set a trap for Julian. Half glimpse wistfulness has touched me. So if I can, I'll turn the restlessness into a painting, but I can't bank on it. 
And let's see what we've got here. A subtle rupture. This sounds like something that I can use for summoning. So, in sleep, I ran my fingers along the ridged edges of the stag door scars. Our company it was that shattered it, Girby says suddenly. Before the gods who were flesh, the mansus was forbidden to mortals. We were the first no. He begins again to weep his molten tears. I wish that we had not. I wish that I had died in the world. I've forgotten what else he said, but I remember the shape of the fissures of the, in the stag door. And for all of today, doors will fear my touch. Now, I genuinely forgotten um, what I needed to advance through the spider's door. So I'm going to try this again. Um, and I think Moth might be able... Nope. Grail's not going to do it. And I don't have the... I, I know that... I knew that... Um, I knew that lantern would be enough. What is the other one, though? Knock? Huh. I mean, it makes sense. Um, okay, so I'm gonna wind up... Uh, I'm gonna wind up dreaming. We bear a great power of opening. We'll almost certainly shatter this warded door. So let's get Dorothy and Clovet to deal with the curse. A noble failure. Minutes stretch to hours. The night has swallowed our comrade as easily as a fish taking a fly. The long, unsated, continues the assault. All right. I prepared the text for further study. Tantra explains various less than practical countermeasures against the worms. The serpents, which are not serpents. Moth and Winter are closest to them, and so understand their weaknesses. But both have their own perils. The lionsmith crushes them, but that's not recommended for mortals. Alright, we've got another season of ambition coming up. That's going to be inconvenient, but uh, we should be able to manage. And when I close my eyes, figures march behind my eyelids. When I open them, the light hurts. So again, I've bought myself a little bit of time here because it takes uh, 90 seconds before before I need to go back to the job again. I think I said I was going to paint away the restlessness. So let's um, let's do what we can here. Although I don't think I have any reputation to run with. No. So as an alternative, um, let's actually do a summoning. So here I will take the sunset right. So there's the knock influence, and then let's say a forge, and then a winter disciple. Forge for the smoky spirit, summoning winter for its binding. It must know who will rule it. So this is a little inefficient with the doubled, um, kind of with the, the doubled, um, uh, double caligines, but it's what I have available. And unfortunately, the corpse gets dumped at our uh, at our doorstep. So um, another another reputation problem. All right. So uh, who am I throwing after the long next? Do I need edge or forge? I don't use edge as much. So Victor, go after them. Victor has sharpened his cunning to a concentrated point. And of course, this becomes dread. But we'll generate some fascination in a little bit, so we should be able to combine that and cancel each other out. Optimism is the spice which saves. Okay, so um, we will summon a Caligean before too long, which we can send to get rid of the evidence. I'm going to leave that be. Expedition plans for the next challenge. It'll consume funds. I can add funds now, or I could send another follower. So... Let's bring Clovet in. Nope, Herschelt's Nightmare, another Dread. Not great. I remember that Herschelt wrote of this. I've levered up the floorboards and wriggled down snugly. Now I am compressed beneath them like a hidden corpse. The air stinks of hot dust. My mouth is full of splinters. This time I haven't learned what I hoped to learn, whatever that was. So even though I will be generating some fascination, which can mute the blood, um, I am going to have to deal with another dread before too long. So I'm going to leave the, um, the dream verb open. The worms have always been eager to inhabit us. Here are the practices which make us inhospitable to them. There are diagrams. The diagrams are not good to look upon, and none of the practices they depict would allow the subject to survive. 
So yet another operation of the declining sun. And I, I will translate one of these works. So the Thirsting Tantras, C.G. Burial, the temperance campaigner, published elements on, of this in a pamphlet, which had to be withdrawn and destroyed after it became too popular. So I'm conscious about the time, so I know I can't, uh, I can't properly read another book, but... Okay, another fleeting reminiscence. Calm period coming up. We bear a great power of opening. We'll almost certainly shatter the sworded door. That means that we missed... Oh, doors have two purposes, to open and to remain closed. Today, this door remained true to its second purpose, so we'll add another funds in anticipation of a future challenge. Not all the forge's children are bright. Its offcuts and bastards gather in the bounds like hammer scale in the cracks of the smithy floor. Here comes one now. So there's our Caligine, and we're going to send them off to get rid of the evidence. And in the meantime, we go back to Glover and Glover. Oh ho! In the depths of the night, we hear a scream that shakes the city. The Long is wounded. This giant might have lived forever, but they grew incautious. The Long is dead. And on that note, we will see the consequences of uh, destroying a Long next week. Thank you all for watching. If you are not already subscribed, I tremendously appreciate it. Uh, you can hit the subscribe button, and there's a little bell for notifications if you would like to be notified when they come in. I usually bring things up on Wednesdays and Fridays at 6. And then, of course, the other videos are my live broadcasts on Twitch. And if you enjoyed the video, do feel free to leave the like. If you didn't like it, thumbs down is maybe not desired, but understandable. Uh, and as always, I read all of the comments, so it's been fun. Um, if you do not know what happens when you beat a long, I am curious what you think. I will tell you that I, unless JC behaves differently, there is going to be at least one last move that he makes. And so if you don't know what it is, and if you have any guesses, feel free to leave them in the con comments. I am actually really interested in what people's, um, people's guesses are. Um, but until next week, have a good one. Thanks for watching.